Hi, I'm Dr. Simone Rofena and I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine here at the Zeta West Clinic in London. Today I would like to speak to you about male infertility, which is very important in the couple diagnostic assessment. I would like to say that male infertility is really, really very important to be considered because uh, it covers at least 50% of the reasons of um, infertility. Normally, the parameters we are considering to assess the capability of the sperm to fertilize an egg are basically three. The first one is the sperm total count, which uh, must be um, over 15 million per mill to be considered as normal. The second parameter, which is also very important, is the motility of the sperm. And uh, we would be happy to have at least 40% of the sperm with a progressive motility. The third parameter uh, we are considering is the morphology of the sperm. When we analyze the morphology, we consider the three bits of the sperm, which are the head, the neck, and the tail. Any of these parts can be affected as regards the morphology. So in order for a sperm to be defined as normal, all these three parts must be normally shaped. There is a lot we can do to try to improve the semen parameters. For example, uh, things like a good lifestyle, a good nutrition and uh, the help of some supplements can contribute significantly in improving these parameters. Many men, when they get poor results on a semen analysis, are worried they might not be able to conceive. But I would like to reassure them that in the end, it takes just one single good sperm to create a pregnancy.